we're going to go through the mental processes in the shot selection and what I'm thinking about when I hit certain shots. The key is to know what the replies are. Alright, we're going to break down this entire point. This is a second serve and you got to think about your second serve here. You want to go one because it pushes them off the court. Two is okay because you're pushing them into the middle of the court. There's no angles coming back. Three is bad. You, they set. They can nail the shot. You know, and I tell I tell all my players, you're gonna hit a forehand on the second shot, and you're gonna take control of the point. And so, if, even if they hit a forehand on one, they'll be off the court. The court will be open for you unless they rip the crap out of it. But the court will be open. Come back to me here. It's an easy run around, and I will go back to one to maintain the forehand versus backhand pattern. Two is okay if the ball is short and can change direction, but if I do that, it opens up the cross court reply. So you, when you hit your shot selection, you need to be ready for the next shot. Okay. Notice that when I hit this shot, the high clearance, because this is a shot I can do over and over, and it's annoying. This is an annoying shot that I think everyone needs to have. This high roller. Think of the doll. You hit this high roller to the back end. My point's really tall, you know. But look how high it's going over the net. Comes in really deep. He has kitchen on the rise, and now I'm ready. Wherever he goes, I have a preset shot. If he goes back to one, I'm going back to the backhand. If he goes to two or three, I'm going back cross court. And I'm my goal is to wear him down. If I go to two or three here, and I go back to the backhand to him, then he can run me. So by doing this pattern here, I can maintain control of the point. So he, in turn, what he's going to do, he's going to try to go to one or two. If he goes back to three, then I can run him. So these are options for him. Ideally, if you're on that side, on the high backhand, you want to get back to my backhand. Come back to me in the center of the court. Very easy. Okay. You want to hit the court. You want to hit the shot to the open court at one. Two is viable. Three, no purpose at all. Okay. But, but I like going to one because then I run him. See, I'm running him off court there. I maintain control of the point with my forehand. He does the classic down the line shot. And notice. I like to just slice on this shot because when you hit the slice, it tends to stay low and away from them, especially since you have two in the backhand. But I hit it short. But this turns out to be a decent shot, okay? Because it forces the baseline to come to net. Baseliners like to go left and right. It's a shorter distance from the middle of the court to the sidelines. But forcing them up to the service line diagonally is a tough shot. By going to his backhand, the it's going to be a low backhand. He's got not too many options. If I had gone down the line, it might sit up and it's a forehand. Okay, now notice, let's go with the red first. If he hits to the red, I can go cross court or down the line or lob. Okay, if he goes to the green, I'm pretty much going to go cross court or lob. That's how you want to think. You want to think, these are the options, this is what's going to happen. If he hits it here, you have preset shot. If he hit, hits it here, you have preset shot. Okay, he hits the ball out on this shot, unfortunately. It's really close, but it's out. You also have to make the tournament call.